BF2 is probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's well balanced. Until you add unlocks to the mix. The art style is colorful and timeless. It's easy to play day one, but has a skill ceiling that is practically limitless, allowing you to improve and kick some ass. It has a great soundtrack, and Valve won't copyright strike your video and steal all the ad revenue for 6 seconds of unfiltered audio. You can play as an Australian that throws a jar of urine at his enemies, a Scottish alcoholic with explosives, or a big Russian guy who talks about sandwiches while mowing down his enemies. The characters all have great and distinct personalities, which has made them memeable as hell. So naturally, with such a great game, developers and companies want to emulate its success in their own games. You got Super Monday Night Combat, which I don't know what that means. Dirty Bomb, which imploded itself after a few years. Then pretty much when Overwatch came out, everyone wanted to copy that instead. Now there have been channels that have covered games similar to TF2 before, but no one, and I mean no one, has talked about this Chinese ripoff of TF2 known as Final Combat. Ah, China. Land of terrible copyright laws, suppression of free speech, activism blizzard, and my least favorite, Tencent, who operates the Great Firewall in China, but most importantly, owns the worst game of all time, League of Legends. And some pretty good bootleg. Anyways, getting off topic, Final Combat is a free-to-play FPS released in 2011. The game features a total of 16 classes. I'm not able to list them all because information on this obscure game is very limited, and it requires a Chinese citizenship ID to sign up, and currently the world is infected with the Redacted. virus. So here were the classes I were able to find. You got the Rock It, that's, that's actually how it's spelled. The Gunner, the Sniper, the Fire Bat, the Medical, and the Mechanism. Like TF2, the company behind Final Combat created a series of promotional Meet the videos. The first video was Meet the Rocket, which starts off with a blue rocket giving a speech, very reminiscent of a certain person in history. After his heart-touching speech, the entire army of rockets storm out of a bunch of trucks and destroy a neighborhood infected with the virus. Our next video is Meet the Medical, which features an anime K-pop music video, followed with the medical healing people with dual plasma pistols, and then giving the rocket an uber charge. Meet the Sniper features a woman tired with her day job, so instead she's just gonna shoot everyone around her. Also, her sniper rifle has a label on it that reads, Sniper Gun. Also, there's like, blues music playing throughout all this. Next is the fat man. That's body shaving, you can't say- Is your average KFC employee, and after many years of cleaning up spilled sweet tea, witnessing middle-aged men guzzle down the gravy, and dealing with the greasy stack. With classical music playing, of course. Then we have Meet the Fire Bat. Hey, let's be serious for a moment. Meet the Fire Bat is a deep reflection of our inner torment of having to live up to society's standards, and just shows how readily people will toss us out if we don't conform. As a result, Firebat starts a one-man revolution, and dismantles the establishment that kept him enslaved from letting him be himself, and freeing everyone else in the process. Beautiful execution, just... Just amazing work. Meet the Striker, which doesn't have any animation, instead features epic gameplay with Chinese heavy music in the background. Hit it! And 
the last thing I could find on YouTube was Meet the Mechanism, which once again is this gameplay. Now you're probably wondering, who is responsible for this brilliant masterpiece? That man is no other than Troy Horton, famous for her works on Tomb Raider The Lost Ark, Wave Rally, and Wonder Dog for the Sega Genesis. I've decided to inject my newborn son with the newest batch of Wonder Dog Serum. Now normally this will be the point where the video ends, but after finishing the script, I had this looming feeling. An unsatisfied emptiness, if you will. I needed to play this game, and thus begin a long search of looking up ways to play this game. It began with going to the company's website featuring in every Meet the video. That failed. Then I began looking through every single Final Combat YouTube video, and the recent ones pointed towards a site called QB Zone. Even though the link has FC in front of the link, I was redirected to play Triple Chain Mobile instead. Going to QB Zone's homepage, it brought me to their mobile games site. When I tried to enter their PC games site, the webpage failed to load. Even using a VPN to change my location to Thailand, Vietnam, Hong Kong, and Malaysia, I still couldn't get the PC games site to open. Apparently the company behind QB Zone, QBNet, was based in Malaysia and bought the license for Final Combat way back in the day. Their about page reads, Founded in 2006 and started its base in Malaysia, we have since set foot in Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, and Indonesia. This has made us one of the very few publishers that are able to do this kind of feature on a single platform easily accessible by PC, tablet, and smartphone. Until it isn't. Come on, dude, even on the about page, you list Final Combat as one of your games. The only games they seemed to offer was Naruto Slugfest, Mia Online, and once again, Triple Chain Mobile. I tried creating a support ticket, but the only categories you could ask about were Naruto Slugfest and QB Zone Play, their mobile app. Looking up their mobile app, this was the first review I found. Alert! We want Love Dance back! Please bring back Love Dance or we will sue this company! Maybe I should team up with this guy and double sue CubeNet for removing Final Combat. My search was getting desperate. I resorted to Google searching and found obscure forum posts, half of them being in other languages and the other half were wikis of people being salty instead of actually filling the wiki with useful information. Eventually, I resort to privately messaging various YouTubers that posted clips of the game. And what I mean by various, I meant two, as I spent my research reposting the same comment in English and Chinese. The first guy didn't get back to me, but the second guy did. He informed me that the game was probably shut down and that he doesn't remember how he played it. While I was chatting with him, I stumbled upon a surreal video. It's from 2011, and is a Chinese person making a comedic video comparing the two games directly. Looks like I lied that I said I would be the first one really covering this topic, but at least I can say I was the first English speaker to cover it. Even though the video is in Chinese, there are English subtitles, and is actually quite entertaining, so if you want a more direct comparison, link is in the description. Speaking of links in the description, the dude has a link to clips of the game on a site known as Yuku, which does not work, and also his Steam profile, but before I added him, Rose sent me a link to the Final Combat theme, which I was going to use in my video, and alas, my search came to an end, as I stumbled upon a comment that read, At July 9th, 2018, this game is officially dead at its own country. No! The journey has ended. Three hours of the searching this obscure game on the internet just to be met with disappointment. Nevertheless, was it really about the destination or the friends that we made along the way? No, it was definitely not that one. I, I only talked to one person. Or the fact that my college researching skills are actually useful for once. I guess the main lesson of all this is that Overwatch copy TFT! Hey!